Boss Chat with Wendy, where each month I will invite a really special guest to come into our channel and I will interview her all about her journey in becoming a badass girl boss. This month I have my good friend, Fei over here. She is a really talented and amazing artist and instead of me, you know, doing the introduction, Fei why don't you tell the audience what you do? Yeah, I can start talking now. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, uh, my name is Fei Fei. Uh, I am an artist. So uh, I do portraits mostly. So uh, I paint, I draw, and I can sketch a portrait of you in, like within twenty minutes if you want to. Within thirty minutes. Twenty minutes. Twenty minutes. Yes. A portrait. Yes. Sometimes wow. fifteen minutes. Yeah. Wow. Fifteen Can minutes. Yes, yes. A portrait. Yes. Wow. You are so terrible. Okay. <laughs> Me and my several partners, we run this uh, gallery shop. And so what we do is like we show people our artworks and then we take art commissions, we do workshops here. Oh, so yeah. yeah. So right now we are actually at this curators. This is uh, her gallery shop with a few partners here in Publica Kuala Lumpur. If you are in Malaysia, you should really check out this place because there are a lot of amazing artwork here. I'm like, I feel like I'm, I'm surrounded by a lot of talents. And they also run some workshop over here. And so what we are going to do today, it's actually quite different from a usual interview. Um, what we're going to do is actually, we are both going to make a portrait of me. <laughs> yeah, we wanted to paint something, but we couldn't decide on anything. So we just decided to paint this like vein face over here, you know. <laughs> yeah, so um, let us just set up our camera and while I'm interviewing her, we are going to attempt to paint my face. I'm going to attempt, she's going to like actually paint for real. All right, let's 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 just set it up. All right, right now we are back here. You can check out the screen over here. It's the canvas that we had, and this is the picture. I'm gonna throw it on the screen. This is the picture that we are going to paint. That's a very enthusiastic face of mine, <laughs> um, and we are gonna get started. Yeah, let's get okay, started. maybe I feel like we should focus on creating the base first. Well, before I ask you the main question. Yeah. Yeah. Bigger, bigger brush. <laughs> Okay. What color would you like for your background? Um, yellow. Yellow, yay. Yes. Paint it all yellow. Actually, do I need to empty the space here? No need. Oh, really? Can paint over, yeah. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. okay. That's the magic about acrylic. This acrylic, right? Yeah, yeah I... it dries very, very fast. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, perfect. Yes. So, I actually understood that uh, you came from a background of actuary. Um, like you didn't study arts when you were growing up, right? Yeah. So like, how did it all get started? How did you get from being like a so formal actuarial background to artist? Yeah, uh, I majored in actuarial science. Mm -hmm. uh, and then after I graduated, I worked in a consulting and market research company Ooh. for uh, eight, nine months, months. I'm not too sure. Yeah. And then uh, I joined uh, start a company, company as marketing executive. Oh, okay. Yes. So from from consulting, you went into a startup. Yes. Okay. Yeah. For a few months only. Then okay. after that, I yeah, I decided to go to do this for full time. Actually, I've been thinking to do it for a long time. Just that, you know, uh, keep thinking when's the right time to start. Were you always painting like before you got into consulting? Yeah, actually, during my college time, I I took a introduction uh, art class. Ah. Yeah, so it's like I somehow I still want to continue painting ah. no matter what I do. Yeah, but I wasn't a pro. I, I was just like a hobby. Yeah. But you started painting. painting only in college. Uh, not really. As a kid, I be you paint here. Vandalizing my mother's walls. <laughs> <laughs> Vandalize, of course. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and I joined kids competition things like that. Yeah. Nothing ah. serious. Nothing but serious. Fun. Yep. Oh. Yeah. What, did you? Would you say like you? You dream of becoming an artist when you were a kid? Yes, I think Got I yeah. yeah, I've been dreaming about that for many, many years. Yeah. When when did you feel like it was the right time to take the leap? During my startup job, I opened an Instagram account and uh -huh. I started putting my artworks up there. I, I was like, a, uh, I was testing, testing, oh. testing, testing the market. Yeah, yeah, testing. Like, and then I, I got a lot of likes, you know, some compliments, things like that. So I think my art can go, can become really popular if if, if you do it full time. Yeah. If you put more time on it. Yes, right? yes, yes. Yeah. So that's when I know 
I could do this in my lecture. I like I like how you have that very startup uh, entrepreneur uh, mentality that you wanted to like you know test the market first before you get into it, yeah. which is very very smart lah. Yeah, I think it's very smart. And so like I feel like when I grew up, it's very common among us Asian that our parents always say like, uh, you know, artist is a very poor career. Like you can never make money as an artist. So how how did your parents react and how did you go about that? Oh, they never never supported me to do this full time <laughs> uh -huh. at first. Uh -huh. At first, ah. Uh, yeah, they would think that it's a waste of time. And why don't you go back to work nine to six and have a stable job? Mm. They think that like, being an artist cannot. Cannot make a living. Uh huh. Yes, yeah. and I would be poor. I would need support from them. Yeah. So yeah, when you when they thought like that, how did you? You just ignore them and just still do it. Yeah, I still do it. Yeah. Yeah, because I know I can. Yeah. <laughs> that confidence. <laughs> yes, I love that confidence. Yeah. That's amazing. So why not just prove it to the world? You can do it, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah lah. Oh my God, so confident. You see, guys, you need to be confident to go ahead with your dreams, even if your Asian parents. Don't support you, just do it. Yeah. Prove Sometimes, it with your action. Yeah, you need to prove it with action. Like, if you say so much and if you don't do anything, it's kind of no point. Like, like you're not going anywhere with you. You can start picking your face already. I'm scared. <laughs> Maybe we'll get started first. Okay. Then I will let me get you. I'll kind of follow what you do. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe I need you to help me create that face. Okay. First. Oh my god, how do you even get started without drawing? <laughs> <laughs> if you. Do like you paint like me, like almost twenty four seven, not just twenty four seven, uh, maybe uh, twelve seven. <laughs> Ten, twelve seven. <laughs> yeah. That's still a lot of hours, not compared to yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Sometimes really, I, I can do like whole day and night without sleeping if wow. I really into that. You know, the the mode, creating mode. Yeah, I, I, I get that. Yeah. Even with my video, also like I enjoy making my videos, mm -hmm. and. That's something that my friend who's staying with me right now, she noticed just like, man, you can edit your video for like 10 hours straight and I'll never see you complain. Yeah. Which I think that says a lot about your passion and job. If you Correct. love what you do, mm -hmm. you don't really get tired. Yes. Or you get tired but you feel like it's worth it. Yes, correct. Yeah. So like oil painting, uh, colour pencil, I know you sketch with charcoal too. Like what's your favourite medium to paint? Um, I love oil painting the most because I can control the medium. Mm. Well, like something and just paint over it. You can paint like thousands of layers, it's up to you. I always imagine oil is something that's very hard to get started with. Like the ingredients, I mean one thing, the material is very expensive. Mm -hmm. Oil painting. Yeah, is it, it is yeah. oil colors, it's very expensive. I think many people think things like you, that like you cannot afford the full set of oil painting and they are afraid to try it out because mm. it costs so much, right? Yeah. Then that's when you should come to our workshop and try it out for the first time. Oh, you have yeah. workshop for? Yes, uh, for oil. Oh, and you provide the materials? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you guys. Okay, I, I actually I, I, I so didn't know about this, so like, I need to check it out. How how can I find out more about like if you have a workshop? Uh no, you just need to contact me and then you can ask me any inquiries and schedule a time with me. So it's all freestyle. Nothing too formal. Oh nothing too formal. Yeah. Uh. Contact you through your Instagram? Yes, yes. Ooh. Yeah guys. By the way, you should check out her Instagram. She has a lot of followers. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> No, she is well. really talented. You can really look at all her painting over there. I remember when I first got introduced to you and I, I saw your your artwork. I was so amazed. Really? Yeah. Did you? Yeah, yeah. When I first follow you, mm -hmm. I remember one of the video that I really like was those stop motion with the color pencil one. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You. I feel. I feel like you were very creative. Um, not just in the sense that you paint very well, mm -hmm. but you also try to play with the medium. You try to make stop motion and everything. Yeah. And there's a stop motion with tomato also. Yeah. 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 Remember, like I actually remember, remember those. God, remember. Yeah, it's been a while, right? Those yeah, 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 yeah. But I actually checked those out, and I was just like, wow. <laughs> now I don't really have the time to do one. No. So what? What have you? Yeah, I guess what have you been like focusing in it? Yeah. Art commissions. You know, have to survive. Take orders. Yeah. Yeah. So would you say like um, financially, like the biggest source of revenue comes from art commissions? Yes. Okay. For me, yes, it is the case. Besides art commission, what other source of income can you get from being an artist? Um, I actually go for like uh, live art, like the companies that will like hire me for a one day event. So I do my live art there. Mm. Uh, sometimes I sketch a live portrait for people. Sometimes it's like a Chinese painting. Yeah, I, I paint from live, or they they provide me the photo. I do it. Yeah, mm. yeah, it's a quick art. Yeah, but I do get 
hired for those. So like event based lah. Yeah, life art lah. Life performance art. I can say. That's so yeah. cool. <laughs> yeah. Actually, like I rarely come across art events, or like art, art performances mm. like that. How long does the performance usually last? Uh, if it's like a on stage kind of performance, it mm-hmm. gotta be quick, like maybe thirty minutes mm. or twenty minutes. Yeah, mm. but if you sketch it for their customers, mm. you can sit there for a whole day. Uh. Yeah, because a lot of customers. Uh, yeah, it's true lah. It's true. Yeah, yeah. So like you do, uh, yeah, like when you do for customers, it's mainly those charcoal sketching, right? Is it whatever portrait? They request. Oh, they request. Yeah, anything. now I can do a Chinese painting within thirty minutes too. Wow, <laughs> you really? <eat. laughs> I like how you can do everything so fast. Eh? <laughs> then the Asian mentality is that if you can do things fast, mm. you can make more money. <laughs> that's very good. Yeah, that's true. That's amazing. Then you can start painting. Right? Yeah, I know. I, I <laughs> okay. You notice? <laughs> I've been trying to like you know tolan. Yeah, <laughs> like, I know. I realize. <laughs> okay, so I, I'm gonna pin this half of the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just do it. Yeah, don't don't care. Yeah, about I'm so stressed. Part. This is more like a base, right? I can pin yeah, over yeah. it, right? Sure, that's sure. That's what I know, right? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I'm so stressed. Why are you stressed? It's your own face. I'm gonna wait my head. Oh my god, a star tattoo, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna start painting, guys. You know, if I look horrible, it's my fault. <laughs> yeah. Actually, growing up, I was quite artistically inclined. Like, I joined art competition. Uh, Actually, get like state, state level, I get number one at that. So, whoa, whoa, like those like MSSJ. Whoa, look how you're No. <laughs> no, but the thing is, like, I, my Asian parents instilled that thinking towards me that artists cannot make money. That's true. So I just kind of take it like I think even as a kid, you know, I think like by standard five, standard six, mm-hmm. like twelve years old, I just stopped painting because I had to focus on my studies, mm-hmm. and then I never really got back into it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now you got a chance. Now I got a chance to paint. Do you want to be an artist like me now? Uh, I don't think I have the patience. Uh. I don't mind painting for fun, yeah. for myself, but I don't want to like. I don't want to get people to pay me for it lah. Okay. I think I'll be very stressed. Yeah, then just do it when you have the time. Yeah, which is like never. No. <laughs> I think eventually lah, when I have the money I want. My dream is to have like a an in-house studio, not just for art lah, of course. Uh, for my YouTube, for my office, as, as my office for my global stuff. But also at that space, it will be my creative space. So like, I want to have a can like a place where I can put lah. Is that called Enzo? And so easel, easel, yeah, where I can put my easel and like you know paint there. That's a good dream. Mm. Lots of natural sunlight in there. Whoa, <laughs> I like it too. <laughs> Anyways, enough of me. Enough of my uh, artistic talent. I, I just I feel like I erase away all your. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. So like, uh, let's talk about actuary. Knowing that like actuary is a career that's known to be like very well paid and you can make a lot. Do you ever regret into get uh, getting into arts? No, never. Is it because you make more as an artist now? <laughs> Do you? Uh, I, I never really know like what's their salary now, so I cannot compare. Oh, that's true. That's true. Yeah, that's true, but yeah. I make enough to survive, and I got enough to travel. You know? Yeah, you yeah. get to travel to Europe and all that. Yes. I would assume that like, you you get well well paid now. Yeah. Paid well enough that you don't regret, I guess. Yes. So besides like money wise, mm. what are the things that makes you feel like yeah I don't regret freedom? I can do whatever I want whenever I want to. Mm. Yeah, and I can wake up late. <laughs> <laughs> and you can work from home, right? Yes, I can work from home. Do you have a studio at home? Yeah. So nice. Yes, I can paint at home. Living you know? that artist life. Yeah, yeah I remember home. what I wanted to say. I can paint while watching drama. Wow. What kind of drama? You cannot do in office, office you know, right. while your boss is watching. The good thing about art is like you can get distracted. You can listen to music, you can watch drama while you paint. Yes, I can get a coffee. Yeah. yeah, because my kind of job is like the kind that I need focus when I'm when I type things or when I'm editing, like I cannot watch shows. Because I have to listen to my videos mm. and I have to listen to my thoughts to write. Mm. So I cannot watch drama. Or sometimes even listen to the music is distracted. Distracting. How has social media contributed to your artist career? Yeah, it's like a online gallery of mine, so where mm. people can check out all my artworks. Mm. So I don't need to send all of those to each customer who inquire. They can just check check check, check them it out. out there. Right? Yeah. I remember. Um. So like in our previous conversation by ourselves, she you were telling me that the Instagram algorithm actually affected your growth. Yes. Yeah. So much. so how how did it affect? Um, like 
I don't know how many years ago, maybe three, two years, three years ago before mm -hmm. uh, Instagram changed the algorithm. Mm -hmm. Once I post my artwork, I could instantly uh, get maybe three, three hundred to six hundred likes within one hour. Wow, that's within one hour. Wow, that's a lot. Yes. Oh, by the way, she has a lot of followers. Yes. And they are like, yes, yeah, that, and like, it's genuine followers. Are. So, wow, one hour you can get possibly 600 yes, if likes. If you check my previous artworks, I get up to 4,000, 5,000, 7,000 likes. Yeah. And that was before. That was before the algorithm yeah. changed. Yes. And then once it changed, how? Um, how? I can see the insights. It can, cannot reach more than, sometimes I can only reach five, 600 of my followers. It's really low. That's so to, low, yeah. Yeah. Compared I, I to 600 why. likes. In the beginning, right? Yes. Wow, that's that sucks. That sucks. Yes. Uh, and has that affected your business too? Yes. Because before I get a lot of commission from overseas, sometimes uh, US, Australia, and all over the place. Uh. People who come across your account, yes, they yes. actually contact you for commissions? Yes, the commission, and I uh, ship it. Yeah, I do ship it a lot before. That, uh, mm. So how, I guess like, what what adjustment have do you have to do to make business work for you um, after that? Uh, I have to focus more on the local market. Mm -hmm. So I get myself out there, I join bazaar, mm. you know, expose myself so that more Malaysians know me. Mm. Yeah. So you have to focus more on local because of Instagram Yeah. Oh that sucks. It's yes. so unfair too. Yes. Hmm. Instagram, can you please <laughs> be fair? <laughs> so I told myself, don't blame anything for this. Lah. Maybe mm. I'm responsible, the content is not good enough, something like that. Oh. Uh, so I keep working, I keep creating more and more and more. At least, try. I guess at least you, take, you took it as a positive push. Yes. You didn't just blame it on Instagram and then just like, I'm not doing this anymore. Blaming doesn't help. Yeah, maybe it doesn't help. Yeah. Do you do you boost your post sometimes to get more likes uh, or like views? Uh, recently, I started doing it again. Mm -hmm. and boost. And then has that helped in any way? So do you uh, see that? Help? Yeah. But by, by paying, I get a lot more views and likes, of mm. course. But you don't. It's hard to like directly convert them to sales, right? Some people are really they already inquiring me oh. for the services. I haven't replied yet. Oh, that's, that's amazing. So I guess like. It does. It does pays to pay. <laughs> I guess yeah. to invest to, to reach out to more people. What advice do you have for people out there who are dreaming of becoming an artist? Hmm. Interesting question. <laughs> yeah, but because you are actually someone who's been doing art full time already. Yeah. It's not what a lot of people is able to do. So what what advice do you have for those who wants to be a full time artist? If you have someone. To support you, you have family to back you up always. You should really just do it. You have nothing to worry about. Just chase your dream. And then, if you don't, uh, you are like financially independent. Mm -hmm. You are depending on yourself only. Uh, you sh realistically speaking, you should have some savings. It's better if you have some passive income or a side job. Yeah, I think I think that would be recommended. Uh. Yeah. Would you say artist is something that you can do part time first and then hop into it full time? Um, is it possible? It depends on individual, like mm. how strong you are. If you are a genius, an art genius, you can do part time, of course. Mm. But if you're not, you're still learning. It's better than you do it full time. That's how you really push yourself to learn to, mm. you know, get yourself out there. Okay. Yeah, expose yourself to the art market. You can try to do something similar to your job, like maybe take up some freelance designing job online. Mm. There are plenty of those online. You can just find them mm. while working on your artist. If you were to be an motivational speaker right now, like what would you tell an aspiring artist? Aspiring artist? Uh, Mindset wise, how to get there? Recently, like two days ago, there was one lady. Mm -hmm. She came to me for portrait, and mm. she told me that. Uh, she she is really really interested in doing art mm. as a full time job. She loves painting, mm. uh, but her parents won't like it. Like even if she paid it in a room, her mm. parents will be mad at it. Why? I don't know. But that, that's okay. a struggle. Okay. So I told her that uh, if you are financially independent, mm. you should just do it. 
Yeah, like yeah, you shouldn't have too too much concern or too many concern. <laughs> <laughs> Instagram changed the algorithm, you were able to reach a very global... Yes. And actually, you don't need to get into art galleries now. Mm. Yeah, you, that's the traditional thinking that you need to get mm. your work in some, you know, some sort of gallery. Yeah, but right now you have all the platforms ready for you. You have Instagram, you can make your advertisement yourself. Yeah. You can do all sorts of things by yourself. So, don't be stuck mm. by your own thinking. There's okay. no definite way to become successful. Mm. I think we are done with our artwork. Mm. And uh, I think we are also done with like the questions that I have for you. I love what you said at the end. Uh, like, we are living at a stage where like, you, know, you can do anything with social media. You don't need to get into gallery. And if you want to be an artist, if you have the heart, do it. Just do it. And I find it very inspiring that you have the guts to like just go into it and right now you have such big dreams that you want to help other artists yeah, just also so I want to credit my friends who supported me back then like yeah. 3 4 years ago when I first started mm. so my friends commissioned art pieces from me oh. that's so sweet right yeah you know who you are thank oh. you y'all thank you friends thank you. without you I wouldn't be able to do this interview today yep. yeah okay so I'm going to show you guys the artwork this half it's mine uh on the screen okay I don't know lah okay let's see hello <laughs> okay, it's still quite wet, so there's a big reflection on the light. Let us know in the comment below. Do you like this side or the? <laughs> this is side A, side A or side B? Okay, I'm gonna tag it side A. Do you like side A more or side B? This is a competition, okay? Yeah, if people like the side B, you should consider becoming an artist. Okay. Yeah. I wouldn't <laughs> mind that. Okay, I'm gonna put this here. Can I just stand this here a bit? All right. Okay. okay. Thank you so much for Thank coming you. into my channel. I. I'm really grateful that you are willing to do this with me and also like lend me your 
gallery here to shoot today is just very fun and amazing and it really makes me very happy that I get to interview you and I like, get inspired by you too. It's my pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, be sure to comment below about you know which side is nicer, side A or side B <laughs> because you are very curious which side you like more. I'm pretty <laughs> And I hope that you enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more of these videos. And watch these two videos if you like more girl boss or motivational content. Bye! 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 Bye!